Hello, friends. Today, I want to talk to you about the Zoom F6, which I have right here, and the firmware upgrade that just was recently released. This here has the firmware version 1.6, and we already have a firmware version called 1.7 available. Now, it doesn't really happen all too often that there are major updates for devices like the Zoom F6. However, this upgrade is also not all that major, and it actually is a bit of a sad story, but I want to mention those things a little later in the video. First, I want to take this opportunity to show you how you can upgrade the firmware on your Zoom F6. Now, a couple of the things that you will need is a SD card, then of course also a SD card reader, or a USB-C to USB-C cord, which you can use to then connect the Zoom F6 directly to your computer and put it into SD card reader mode, because that of course is also one of the features of this recorder. And then, yeah, we just need to go to the website and download the firmware update. Now, to download the firmware upgrade, you can go to this website, which you will also find linked in the description down below. And on that, we will have to scroll all the way down to the software section, and then simply click onto this so that it is going to be downloaded. Now, I already have this zip file ready, and of course, you will have to unzip it as well, unless your computer does that automatically. Lastly, you will probably be left with this folder, F6 underscore, and then the version number. In this case, of course, it is the version 1.7. Inside here, we have a upgrade guide, as well as the firmware upgrade history. And if we take a look into this and make it a little bigger on the screen, let's see. And there you can see we have the newest release as of May 2021, and it just fixes some internal timecode thing, which gains a frame uh, when external timecode is disconnected while the timecode is set to ext mode and or ext auto rec mode. The other thing is about improved low frequency characteristics of the filter used for internal processing. Now, a couple of things to mention here. One of those is that the improved low frequency characteristics is something that I have actually never really noticed all too much because I also don't really use the internal filters unless they are talking about a general frequency response change. But if they are talking about the low cut filter, that's something that I don't use because I just do my post processing in the aftermath and just get the 32 bit float recording from the device directly. Now, talking about the timecode thing, I actually never really got into this issue, or at least I never noticed it. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and do the upgrade. And for that, we of course have to take a SD card and put that onto the computer. If you want to use the Zoom F6 as the card reader, you can of course go into the menu like so, go all the way down to System, hit Enter, then USB, and there you have SD card reader mode. And now you can simply connect your Zoom F6 with the USB-C port here on the side directly to your computer, and it will be recognized as a SD card when you have one inside of the device. And of course, you'll have to do that at the back right here. Now, I have a SD card reader separately, and in that I have the SD card ready to go. Now, that is going to be plugged into my computer right here. And with that, we have the SD card showing up as a external drive right there. And with that, we just simply take the firmware file and put that onto the SD card. Once that is transferred, we can already eject the firmware file again, take that out of the computer, put it back into the Zoom F6 at the back right there. So plug that open, put the file or the SD card in, close the door, and now all we have to do is simply shut down the F6. And then once it's shut down, we can actually press the play button and the on off switch to turn it back on. And as it is starting, it is also going to run the update sequence. And it's actually going to ask us whether or not we want to do the upgrade from version 1.6 to version 1.7. Now on the screen, I can jump over to update and hit the enter key or the check mark key and it will be doing the upgrade as shown on the screen. Now, this gives me a bit of an opportunity to tell you about the reason why I am actually a bit underwhelmed by this upgrade. And that is that I think that the Zoom F6, especially the software, has a lot of shortcomings at the moment. 
there are tons of little nitpicky details that I would like to see changed. Like, for example, with these faders here in 24-bit mode, I would love to be able to use these as the trim instead of using them as the fader value just to mix the stereo mix down. So that is one of the many things that I think could be improved on the Zoom F6. Other things also include the line out, for example, that is really noisy when you want to put that into a device where you have to lower the line out gain a whole lot. That's a topic that I also already discussed in a video as well. And maybe this is something with software, but I have not heard any statement from Zoom themselves. And of course, there are many more aspects as well. I might actually do a video together with Justin from Rebel Tech, and we will be talking about our ideas for the Zoom F6 because we both love the device, but there are things that might be a bit of a, let's say, easier handling, so to speak. So that is why I think this particular upgrade is actually a bit of a, I don't know, not that incredible because it just fixes two minor issues that may not even be something that a lot of people notice. But of course, upgrades are always a good thing and I'm happy that Zoom is still updating this device at all. I just would have hoped that there are more fixes in an upgrade like this at this point. And with that, the device actually tells me that I should be powering it off. So I hold the on off button on the side. And now that it is powered off, I can turn it back on. And as we will be able to see on the bottom here, it will show the 1.7 version number or 1.70. And with that, we have the upgrade already installed. Now that already concludes my video about the Zoom F6's upgrade. As I've mentioned, I would love to see more updates for this device. I think it is an incredible audio recorder and it has a whole lot of life left in it. There's no good reason for Zoom not to improve upon what they actually created here. It is a really powerful small audio recorder with six XLR inputs, a 32-bit float that is incredible and easy to work with, and it just overall is a really powerful device. But as I've mentioned, the thing with the line out, the faders in 24-bit mode not being able to use those as the trim and instead just being able to use them as the faders for the, uh, the left-right channels, other things also include stuff like, for example, being able to use this device for 32-bit float recording whilst also using it as an audio interface on the computer, which is currently not possible. There are a whole lot of things that I would love to be in this device that are just not there yet. But maybe, fingers crossed, there might just be a version 2.0 at some point and there's still hoping, I would say. Now, with that said, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section down below or contact me on my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. If you wanna purchase the Zoom F6, I will also have links for you in the description below so that you can do that. Now, I hope you have an amazing day. Make it your life, upgrade your Zoom F6, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.